soon. Your child has her nose pressed against your heart. Put one more in here for shearing. Inside lot, she's a strong girl. Come on, in. She's fine, fine. Inside. You have a god for every need, Nahor. Even for my needs? If you are prepared to become an accomplice to this god. Which one is this? Sen, god of fertility. Does it have a... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. How much? You see this beardless orphan? He's my nephew. And that was his wife trying to drop their first child. How much? I'll give you a good price. Rico, my friend, look at this bird-breasted boy and ask yourself, how could a child like this father a child himself, hmm? How? Because he sacrificed to Sen, god of Mu. Four silver pieces. One. Don't give up now, child. Don't give up. I think that was loud. Wait till you hear the sound you'll make if she drops a daughter. Clear your mouth. <laughs> All right, look. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it for you. Councillor, 
So you are now all born son of Sarah, are you not? <laughs> you know I am. But, um, tell me, why have you entered the market? This concerns the my... royal covenant to rent the king's lands to Terra and his people. I therefore bring a summons from the king for your father to appear before him. Our covenant expires at sunset. Renew it, for you and your people will be expelled from this city and all its land. Your rightful honor, first counselor to the king. Should we discuss sir, these delicate matters under sir. the blistering sun? Call a place, perhaps. Have this done cleared immediately. The king walks here today. Sir. Spit it out. What? Your father. Your father. Oh, father, I thanks for taking away your pain so quickly. Huh? To be robbed again by that thief and his king. Brother, for 23 years you have outwitted that fool. Today, no doubt, you will do so again. You ever tried to feed a vulture? <laughs> you better count your fingers afterwards. <laughs> it's good to hear you laugh, father. It means you're getting better. Yeah. It's late. We have business. Father, please. Please, stay. You stay. Let me talk to the king. He makes the covenant with me. Not you, not yet. And you say nothing. Let Nahor talk. Your brother knows these people. His wits have made us richer every year. Nahor knows how to use his tongue. Nah. And you keep yours in your mouth. This day marks the end of the covenant between Azdi Takin, king of Haran, and Terra and his people. So be it. The shadows grow long. A new covenant must be made before the last light. I, Nahor, will speak for my father. The generosity of the king of Haran is known throughout the world. We have prospered here for many years under his benevolent hand. He has our endless gratitude. Thanks will not feed our people. What you offer? In the new year, we will lay at the feet of His Majesty the same number of mature sheep and cattle as the old year, the same quantity of spun wool, tan skins, silver pieces. The same? Plus, plus a bonus of one-fourth of all that. We appreciate your sincere remarks and your offer. But, old man, the bonus will not be one-fourth. To graze on my lands for another year, you will pay double. Double, Your Majesty? Double? This is a, a, an unprecedented demand. It's, it's out of the question. We cannot. Then I am sad to say your tribe must leave my Paradise. Your Majesty, why do you abuse us in this manner? In past years, you refused us water. We dug for it, you seized our wells and made us pay silver for the water we gave you. You gave us your worst lands after our herds made the earth fertile with their dung. You drove us off so your farmers could grow barley fivefold. You ordered us to fight your enemies. We gave you victories with our blood. Oh, yes. Haran is a paradise, but our people helped to make it so. You? You did all this? <laughs> the riches of Haran pour from the hands of the blessed God sent, and nobody else. Instead, you wandered here from Ur, a small tribe, and now you are as thick as the lice in my hair. You will pay double, because you are now twice the number you wear. Our tribe grows because of the children, our children. Must we pay twice?
because our women are fertile? Not all your women. Your wife, for instance, is a woman of great beauty, uh, I hear. A problem that perhaps lies elsewhere. <laughs> we will be glad to pay whatever His Highness in his wisdom asks. Double? It will be double. Let the covenant be made. If I break, I break this, this covenant, covenant may, may what is done, done to these beasts be done, done to me. To me. King of Haran has lice. <laughs> head of hair to a louse is a head of hair, even if it wears a crown. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <coughs> How are you feeling? Ah, that was nothing yesterday. Something I ate, perhaps. I'm Happy for Lot. Ah, yes. A daughter. And time for more. Time for a son. <laughs> and Sarahi, as usual, was a very good midwife. She, she probably... Father, it is killing her. She's brought so many children into the world. Each birth is like a little death to her. And when she dies a little, so do you. I have nothing else. She's all I have. Ah. Abram, you're a mystery to me. Now, Lot, I understand. He's inherited from your dead brother, so he's a child with the wealth of a man, trying very hard to be a man. <laughs> Nahor, I understand. 
He's rich, but he thinks like a pauper. Looking under every stone for his next piece of silver. But you? Huh? You have more wealth than either of them. And when I die, twice that. And yet, it means nothing to you. Instead, you brood and ponder, question and search. For what? Why can't you be happy for what we have here now? Abram, the king's right. I've never seen a place so green. Their gods, as he said, have made Haran a paradise. I have tried to reach those gods. But I get nothing. Nothing? You get nothing from the gods? Nothing at all? Nothing. <gasps> Listen. Lot took his bride to the Shrine of Sen for the ritual of the full moon. Did you know that? And no sooner does he take her to bed than a child. Yes, sometimes the gods listen. What is it? Is it the king? No. Not the king. He's no better, no worse than any other king I've met. Is it our life here? How can one not be content in a place like this? Water, grass. This, this is a rich land. Is it me? <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> Talk to me. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just need a. What do you it's... need? I want to give you a child. No, 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 it's not that at all. Not that at all. And what? It's the truth. Sorry. I don't know. I just don't know. Father, without doubt, Sarai is a good woman, a beauty. But enough's enough. I mean, she is, after all, only a woman. Are you suggesting a second wife? What else? Look at me. After Milka dropped three sons, I took Ryoma. A luxury at the time, perhaps, but now I have five sons. A man can't have too many. That's why we marry. Of course, my brother can't think like that. Practical. Feet on the ground. He fights his secret war in his heart and clings to Sarai like a drowning man. Abram with a second wife? Ah, I don't know. Why not? Who knows, he might even enjoy it. If he could ever allow himself to enjoy anything. Oh, he's such a brother. Oh, oh, those pains. <laughs> oh, no, no. They've become my friends. I'd miss them if they didn't visit me once in a while. Um, come inside, Abram. Something I want to show you. Rather impressive, don't you think? <laughs> Here's a divinity with a hidden power. Huh? Herbs of some kind. Not sure exactly which. It tastes awful, but it's blessed by this deity, which gives it amazing potency. Is this why you've asked me here? Well, yes, I thought. Just to show you. Abram, tonight, try a little of this. Sarai, too. Rumor I tried it, and I can't tell you the di- Gods for this? Gods for that? 
A god. To eat! Abram, what are you doing? I got to sleep! Are you insane? Stop That's it! For riches! Stop it! That's for rain, you are bad man! They're all worthless, false, useless! Stop it! Absurd! Lies! 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 Oh. No! 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 Stop it! No. Madness! No! Oh. Your father. House. From my father's house. To the to land I will show you. The land will show you. who bless you and curse all those who curse you. And in you shall all the families of the earth Let me see if I understand this. There you were, face down in the mud, 
And a god spoke to you. Fine. But what god? What powers does he have? What does he look like? Where does he live? Brother, I have studied every god known to man, and they all have names, faces, places. Besides you, Avram, who knows this god? I don't know, Father. Perhaps many in their hearts. Oh, I see. A god to be worshipped in ignorance. Not so, brother. It is simply that I am ignorant. I do not know him yet. But in time. Fine, fine. In time. But now he's telling you to pack up everything and everyone and leave for who knows where? No! It's insane! I refuse to follow this brother of mine and his voices. We've worked too hard. We've paid too high a price for what we have here. And he wants to forsake it. For what? You have changed, Abram. I can see it. No, he hasn't. He's still as stubborn as an ass. Stop pacing and sit down. Tell me, Abram. Help me understand. What has happened to you? This god said Abram's name will be famous, that he will make of him a great nation. But how? How can Abram make a nation of people without children? I don't know. You've had enough of this nonsense. If Abram and his men leave, we are at risk. And you, brother, are in greater danger. Out there, alone, your people will be like sheep among jackals. I feel... But I am protected. This nameless god, again! No horror. Lot, leave us. Come on, go, out! Abraham, you're my son. You owe me obedience. And instead, you listen to this unknown god, a nameless god who whispers into your ear and bids you to leave your father's house to break your heart and mine. What, what kind of god is this? I don't know, father. But I, I heard his voice. It spoke to me above the silence of all the other gods. You despise the gods who have given us protection and made us rich and allowed our children and herds to grow healthy and, and strong. You renounce all our gods because you found a new god? Huh. Uh. Cannot stay, Father. As much as it grieves me, the thought of leaving you. But I felt I I've heard him call to me. Abraham, you're taking away my joy from our lives. Counted on you, my son, for the days to come. You have a new heart, and I don't know it. But you know mine. Go. Go in peace. With the blessing of your God, whoever he is. And with mine. Uncle, 
I'm going to come with you. To protect you. Gather their herds.
Where were you going to? To Haran. In the north. That's where we came from. Then you're going south. Yeah. For Damascus. Yeah. That's not a place where one is necessarily welcomed. Or at least, as far as I'm concerned. There's much oppression there. In fact, oh. I will... That man is a slave. He ran away from his master in Damascus. We are taking him back. That man is a guest in our camp. But therefore, his life is sacred to us. He must come with us. Back to the man who owns him. Owns him? Then I am willing to pay for this slave's freedom. The price is high. His master spends a fortune to buy him as a scribe. He's fed him for years. I will pay the price. Thank you, Master. I'm your slave. Sorry. My name is Elias. Oh, no, please, 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 no, no. You are free. You are free to go where you choose. I'll give you what you need to reach Haran. I have a brother there who may have worked for an educated man. I can never repay you. But you have my lifelong gratitude. And I want to give you this small piece of advice. Turn back. Stay the night with us. Eat and rest. It's probably worse than Damascus. One question, please. Why are we traveling south?
my god. With all my heart, I give thanks. I have seen it as you have shown it to me. Canaan. This is the land of promise. of paradise is no accident. The hand of man is everywhere. We are not alone here in Canaan. Take what men you can spare and form a circle right around this valley and we... I am Mambre, the Amorite, and these are my two brothers. I'm Abra. This is my nephew, Lot. These are my people. And this valley is our land, and your people are on it. It is a well-tended valley. Yes, it is, because my father's father's father dug for water here, and he found a river under the earth. Now it flows above. And my father's father planted these trees. And my father dammed the water to make the lake where your animals now drink. Well, there's not much work for you and your brothers to do. Oh, yes. We defend it. Nicola Brown. We have the advantage. The land is good here, and the people are tired of wandering. Let's take the place now. We can defend it as well as any. First, we kill these men. If necessary. Oh, it would be necessary. My nephew believes we have the advantage. Your nephew is good with numbers. Now we'll see if he knows how to use them. No! There is no justice between men if our differences are measured in numbers and in blood! Your father and his father and his father made this valley green. This land is yours. We will leave in peace. Gather the herd! We're going back to our valley!
taking it away now. I have brought with me the hope of my people. But how do I see them? Shall I remain here? Shall I take them away? But where, Lord? Where? Where? Tell me what to do. I am your servant. But how can I serve you? How am I to serve? Depend on me. I speak to him, and he will not answer. This is a mysterious God. He wanted us to come here. We did. He showed me Canaan as it will be. He said he would make our people a great nation. How do we exist until then? He will provide. He made me a promise. He cannot be untrue to that promise. Last night, in the tent next to ours, a child died. I know. The animals are wailing. I know. The land has dried up. I know. How can you follow this God? I, I do, I can, and I will. the home that he has promised us, and we leave. Will he not be displeased? Will he not abandon us? But if we stay... We will starve. What if? What if Ganon is not?
My people. What am I doing? What have I done? Stay with it. Stay with your faith. Oh. Uncle, we must find water and grass soon. There's plenty of both. Not far from here. I traveled through here once. With a caravan of merchants carrying spices. Spices to where? To Egypt. The land of the great river Nile. It's a very fertile place. Well, maybe that's where we should be going. That may not be so easy. Egypt is ruled by a terrible tyrant. They call Pharaoh. He watches over his land like a... like a jealous husband. Could there not be an oasis? A fertile valley, anything? Between here and that Pharaoh? No. The desert remains harsh and unfriendly all the way. We will go on to this land of the river Nile. We will go on. Abraham! Abraham, I've just been told by someone up ahead that you may have an even greater problem than we ever imagined. It seems this pharaoh has a lust for beautiful women. He pays great rewards for men who supply them. Are there no laws? Oh, yes. In fact, Egyptians are very strict about such matters. It's forbidden by sacred law for one man to take the wife of another. And so? The pharaoh has found a way around the law. He killed the husband. I am not the kind of woman a king would want. You are Abram, son of Tela. And these are... These are my people. Do you think you could be a little more precise than that? Yes. Um, Lot, son of Hera and my nephew. Eleazar of Damascus. Sarai, daughter of Tela. My sister. And enough, enough, enough. Just count them. Fifty-three. Now. What do you want in Egypt? We like to rest a while. Pasture, the animals, trade. Trade? Yes, trade. Huh? Trade what? Uh, we spin wool. And, um, tan hides, make tunics, cheese, samples. You're a little late. Late? Late. Egypt's choking with nomads and their filthy sheep. The hills look like maggots crawling on a dung heap. Permission to enter 
denied. Denied? Denied. for all this, don't you think? And for your crimes of theft against this merchant, it is the judgment of our pharaoh that justice will prevail. Cut off their hands. cattle, oxen and carts filled with food, tents and so forth, plus grazing land in the delta. You will obey Egyptian laws, pay Egyptian taxes, worship Egyptian gods. Your sister is now a member of the pharaoh's household. I know, I know it's a ridiculously large reward. Almost embarrassing, isn't it? But no need for thanks. The pharaoh's generosity is as boundless as the light of the sun. Welcome to Egypt. Enjoy your stay. Bart, bring in the tribe. Get them water, food. Take care of them. Eliezer, we've got to get her out. We've got to try. Find out if she's guarded. How many guards? I'll try my best. Be careful. No, no, no. Don't move. I've almost finished. I know. It's so thick you can hardly keep your eyes open. But even the men around you use it. Everybody looks like everybody else. <laughs> Half awake. Even the pharaoh? I've only seen the pharaoh twice. The first day they brought me here, and when he decided I was to be your slave. His first gift to you. What is he like? Well, the priests say he's a living god. I thought he was more like a man. A very cruel man sometimes. What's your name? Hagar. How did you come here? My father lost his farm. He had debts. And the payment. Do you have to stay long? Mistress, no one ever leaves. <laughs> we are racing to get you ready, but it might be weeks before you want to. Then, if you don't resist, the worst thing that happens is the usual thing that happens between a man and a woman.
Ran as usual. I was told you were one of the most beautiful women ever to arrive in the desert. But they were wrong. You're one of the most beautiful women to arrive from anywhere. thinking what's going to happen between us? Nothing will happen. Nothing you don't want to happen. You don't believe me? You're very lovely. Many, many beautiful women around me. And I'm quite powerful. But the mere exercise of power I find boring. I hope you're going to be friends. If you have to be more than friends, that's something. Now it's time for my prayers. I'm a god in exile on this earth. Sometimes I need to ask my heavenly brothers for their advice. And in addition, the Pharaoh insists any further discrepancies will not be tolerated. The Pharaoh is displeased and will not condone any further discrepancies. Such conduct is deplorable. We await your immediate... There he is. Abram, please, come away. Remain here. Your life won't be worth more than an Egyptian arrow. She's too well guarded. I've tried to bribe a man who said he had friends at court. He vanished with my silver. Avram, don't forget, you're responsible for many others. They still need you. Sarah is lost to you and us. We all mourn her, but it's time you look at reality in its cruel face. Zahri belongs to the man they call Pharaoh, a god in his own right. Zahri is mine. She will always be mine, only mine. How dare you presume to be wiser than God? He knows my heart. He knows. It would be better to have me killed than sentence me to a life without her. Go. Leave. Leave me. And there, I'm having a storehouse built. schools from Nubia to the Delta. Uneducated people make a weak nation. And this is something very interesting. What is that? 
Looks like a mountain. It will be as high as a mountain. And large enough. To do what? To stop the rush of time. The pyramid is like a dam on the flowing river of time. Inside there will be a chamber, a place of eternal being, where nothing can change. Time cannot erode. There I will have eternal life. You too. Yes. For some time in a distant future. For now, it is a stronghold to guard my present. The present I would like to offer you. My needs are simpler than that. What are your needs? Hmm? Tell me. What do you want? Anything. Anything. Anything within my power. I want to see my family. Maybe you would like a taste of our dates. You hurt. <laughs> no. Yes. He's playing with me. Torturing me. He's trying to tell me away from my own heart. Did the Pharaoh threaten you? He shows me kindness. He treats you like he's treated no one else before. And he's been very generous to your people. I'm grateful to him for that. But I hate myself for how it makes me feel. By resisting him, I keep my pride. But it hurts me to think that I'm endangering my people. His anger could fall on them. Tell me, has any woman ever escaped from here? No. They try, but they don't succeed. Your Majesty, I... I... Uh, 
I'm on fire! My uh. friend, you too? Uh. Your wives, your children, they are, like you, all afflicted. I've been poisoned. Someone has poisoned me and my family. Uh. But who, uh. How shall I know who? But whoever it is, kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! No. My pharaoh? Get me out! Get me out! Get me out! It is possible, Majesty. A divine power, a god unknown to us, has unleashed his curse. Curse? What curse? A god unknown to us, a god unknown to me, and you are not here! The affliction, it's spreading among our populace. The panic is building, it's affecting more and more people. Our doctors are becoming desperate. Pharaoh. I suspect this may be the curse of a foreign god. A god who has journeyed here with foreigners. Perhaps the desert people we have allowed to enter Egypt. The desert people? You mean the people of the woman Sarai? Yes, Majesty. Majesty, we have come to learn something that could explain the wrath of the god of these nomads. A god under whose protection the woman called Sarai might be. We have arrested the leader of her people. Her brother? Her husband, Your Majesty. We should exterminate them. Kill them all. The men, the women, the children. The entire filthy tribe. Have him brought here at once. Let him come in. In. Said on your knees. Let him stand. Come closer. I can't see him. Come closer. You see what you have done to me, to my family and my people, by your deceit. Some god has taken revenge for an offense of which I'm innocent. Why did you lie to us? Why did you say she's your sister? Why? Why? I lied. For to my god, it is a greater offense to kill a man and steal his wife than it is to lie. What god? Strange God, what, what sort of mysterious God is he? Strange, yes, and mysterious. He has spoken to me and... He has spoken to you? Yes. How? In here. He has guided my people has guided you into my Egypt. Why? Why? I don't know. I don't know even if he has. <laughs> you, see, you don't know. It's all imagination. It's all your fantasy. Oh, what sort of a god is that? Do you think it's just that we have to suffer? The people, my family, and me, because of your lie? Can he take this curse of us? Who are you? Abram, a shepherd. Shepherd. Where is Sarai? Your wife is my property. She is 
in my household. Your God has sent her to me. To me. There are many things of which I am uncertain, but one thing I am certain of, that my God did not send her to you. <laughs> Look to her! Is she not without affliction? My God said, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. Look to her. Wait. I don't want to challenge your God anymore. Thus the Pharaoh decides. Take your wife, the slaves I gave her, take everything I've given you and your people. Everything you have touched and be gone from my side. Out of Egypt. To take your contamination with you. Go. discovered water in here. You're back, Abra. We are home, Abra. And you are digging wells. We will need water. 
And you have found more. Much more. And we will share it with our neighbors. And as our neighbors, our friends are your friends, and our enemies are your enemies? Yes. So be it. Water our herds here. Have you lost your minds? We are one family. The war is for all of us. I am ashamed of you, all of you. And I hope that you are ashamed of yourselves. I said, Oh, lots men. Violence that... will not solve problems. Are the pastures beyond that river are overgrazed and turning brown. If we do not leave enough grass, the spring rains will wash away the soil. Then I must move my herds. Move your herds? Uncle. I prefer to keep what's yours and what's mine apart. If they're mixed, it makes the counting more difficult. The counting? Oh, yes, of course. The counting is important. There isn't enough water here for all our herds. This part of the land is too small for both of us. With respect, Lot, by dividing our people, we grow weaker. Well, of course, you are free to choose. If you wish to go to the right, I will go to the left. If you choose the left, I will go to the right. Beyond that hill, there are green pastures, along a river called the Jordan. And there are cities. I can go there to trade wool and skins. But those merchants come here to trade with us. Yes, and they pay us less. Whereas if I make the journey to them, then I can get a better price. Price? A better price? Oh, yes. <laughs> Price is important. Well, so be it. You go then. I will miss you. I hope it brings you what you want. But be cautious. I have seen many cities, some better, some worse. In none, however, have I felt a sense of fulfillment. So keep your people outside the gates. Thank you, Uncle. Gather the herds! We're going! Hey! Hey! He is my brother's son. But he's like my own.
attempting to save this one's life. Oh, very kind of you. allegiance to Abraham the son of Terah but you're in the land of the king of Sodom for the water the grass good is it well you're wrong the grass of Sodom is as bitter as bile but soon it'll taste sweet when we water it with blood <laughs> <laughs> seize tents goods animals everything you can find these people are Shepherd, you're moving to greener pastures. Take them north as slaves. There was a time long, long, long ago. But all men on Earth spoke the same language. They came to a land called Sheena, and they said to each other, let us build a tower tall enough to rise above the clouds and touch God's heaven, so we will be famous throughout the Earth. So they worked and worked and worked, piling brick upon brick upon brick until God saw their arrogance. And he was very angry. So he made it so that they forgot their common language and began to speak in so many different tongues that they couldn't understand each other anymore. <laughs> so confusion rose all around. The tower was left halfway built, and God scattered them across the face of the earth, all of them separated, by their different languages. Abram! Abram! Lot and his people, they've been taken! Get Mambre and his brothers, quickly! This king thinks he's outrun the war. He's posted no sentries. It's a cold night to keep their faces towards the fire. Circle to the hills in the north. Each go to the west and here to the east. Be in place when the stars of the Scorpion are above us. On my signal, we will all attack at once. How many are there, do you suppose? Too many, but they don't know our number and there's no moonlight to betray us. When your warriors attack, each man make the noise of five. We will make the noise of ten. <laughs> Stay. 
through. Gather what food you can, feed these people, talk to them. Perhaps they might have news of the other kings.
for you. Amram. This man is my nephew. So, you want this? Angie's people. Is that all? No. His goods. His animals. And all the prisoners you've taken. What do I get in return? Your life. I could take yours now. Oh, yes, you could. Then we would be even. interesting offer, but only as honest as the man who makes it. Let them go! All of them! Enough blood has been spilt. We have got what we came for. It will end here. Children should witness any of this. Uncle Abram's right. Take the girls back to the tent. Goodbye, Abra. Goodbye, and thank you. Because of your courage and valor, you shall receive the riches and spoils of the battlefield. A king's reward to a brave man. Yeah! I want none of it. I fought only to free my nephew. None of it? None of it. I swore to the Lord God Most High, creator of heaven and earth, that I would not take a string, a sandal thong, or any of the spoils of my victories. They are yours. Saruk! Leave the animals with the spoils. Abraham, aren't you forgetting something? My people, the prisoners you freed. The people I freed are just that. Free. Free to go where they choose. Uncle, try to understand. We have a life here in Sodom. We work hard. We earn well. We can't leave now. You too. 
are free to choose. afraid. I am alone. Tell me. Tell me what you want of me. Speak to me. I beg you. Speak to me. Fear not, for I am your shield. Your reward shall be great. No child, no son. I am alone, and I will die alone. Why do you bless me with your gifts? The heir to all you have given me will be 
Eliezer of Damascus. He will inherit. Abraham, not Eliezer. He will not be your heir. Go to your altar. Prepare the sacrifice and look toward the heaven. Number the stars. So shall your descendants be. I am the Lord who brought you from Ur of the Chaldeans to give you and your descendants this land to possess. heaven and earth, and blessed be the Lord most high, who has delivered your enemies into your hands. I come to you in the Lord's name. I am Melchizedek, king and the Lord's high priest of Salem. I brought you bread and wine. I am grateful to you for your words. The Lord Most High, Creator of heaven and earth. Yes, and I worship you. Yes, and you know him. I have heard his voice. And he has given you these victories. I praise the Lord. But these victories are bitter. It's not by force alone that man finds his reward. You have also won great wealth. But you, Abraham, have turned your back on for it means nothing. Nothing compared to the vision he has opened to us. A vision beyond our time. You found a home in this land and defended it. The Lord be blessed. met a man who understands you. My good Lord sent him to me. Come. Come. 
Mistress, how may we help you? Leave us, please. I need to ask a favor of you. Of me, mistress. I'm your servant. Anything you ask, I must do. I want this to be your choice. So there's no strife between us. You are Egyptian and may not understand the ways of my people. If you agree, it is to this. Each night you will come to my tent and lay with my husband. You will do this until you are with child, and only until then. When you give birth, you will do so sitting on my knees. In this way, the child will be mine. And only mine. Under the law. Mistress. I see no other way. prevented me from bearing children. Take my servant, that you and I might obtain a child by her. This year, and never before. And one more in the winter. Hagar's with child. Son. Yes. This 
smells strange. Just a pinch of herbs and lamb tastes. Mm. <laughs> Where'd you find this? In places only an Egyptian knows. What is that? I'm cooking something for Abraham. I do the cooking for my husband. As I recall, this was the Pharaoh's favorite. You enjoyed it with him many times, didn't you? will tear his skin off. I've lined it soft as a sparrow's nest. I'll find one from the city, made with fragrant cedar and Egyptian linen, perfumed with crushed flowers. I wouldn't raise a child in a thing like that. Well, have no fear. He's mine to raise. And it won't be in a perfume box. It'll be according to our traditions. This woman behaves as though she were the mistress and I the servant. May the wrong done to me be done to you. I gave my servant to your embrace. And since the day she conceived, she has looked on me with contempt. May the Lord be the judge between you and me. Has an agreement not been made between you? Then between you, you must resolve it. However, she is your servant, and you are entitled to do with her as you wish. But in accordance to our law, an agreement must not be broken. It is right that she respect not only our agreement, but also the ways of our people. You may go back to work. Where have you come from? 
And where are you going? I'm fleeing from my mistress. You are with child and will bear a son. And the Lord will so greatly multiply your descendants that they cannot be numbered. Your son shall be a man the world cannot break, wild and unconquered, his hand against every man and every man's hand against him. He shall rule in front of his brothers. You shall call your son Ishmael, meaning God listens. Return to your mistress, Hagar, and submit to her. Nothing. I have seen an angel of the Lord. I shall have a son, and his name shall be Ishmael. Do it for you. On your knees, as agreed. But this is mine to do. Alone! Ishmael, you must sacrifice something of great value to yourself, something that you love, something that you would risk your life for, as you would this ram. He is a handsome animal who could father many sheep and would add to your wealth. But you will offer the life of this creature to God as a sign, as a sign that shows the Lord that you will put nothing, nothing of this world above him, the Lord God Most High. Do you understand? Yes. 
Now, the ritual must be carried out properly. The creature that you sacrifice must lie quietly, accepting the sacrifice. Now. You must bind him. Place him on the altar. Now take his life. Quickly. Now, son, you have hunted and killed many animals. But this is different. Oh, yes. And in your heart, it must feel very different. Do it. <laughs> now we will give thanks. Oh, my lord. I give thanks. I give thanks, O oh my Lord. And which you give me anew each morning that I awake. And which you give me anew each morning I awake. Oh my Lord, I thank thee for my son, Ishmael, who is brave and strong and will one day lead our people into the future. Now we gather wood, and we'll burn the oven. of my age. How can I have a child? And, and how can Sarai? Sarah shall bear you a son, and you will call him Isaac.
We have guests. Bring some water. Welcome. Welcome to my home. Rest yourselves a while. Let water be brought that you may wash your feet and food that you may warm your hearts. I thank you, Abraham, for your hospitality. Where is your wife, Sarah? She's... She's... Abraham. be brought, that you may refresh yourself. Do as you have said. with the wicked. My lord, suppose 50 righteous are within the city. Will you not spare the whole city for the 50 righteous who are in it? So far be it from the lord to do such a thing to slay the righteous with the wicked. If I find at Sodom 50 righteous, I will spare the whole city for their sin. My lord, I who am but dust and ashes, should dare not ask, but suppose five 
of the 50 are lacking? Will you destroy the whole city for the lack of five? I will not destroy it if I find 45 there. How do I be not angry? Suppose 40 are found there. For the sake of 40, I will not do it. Suppose 30? I will not do it if I find 30. 20? For the sake of 20, I will not destroy it. My lord. My lord, I... May I speak again just this once? Suppose 10. For 10, I will not destroy it. My lord. One of those. Are thou without guilt? City, I'm at your service. Why don't you come to my house and stay for the night and wash your feet? Yes, do. Then you may rise up early and go on your way. Thank you. But we will spend the night in the street. No, I beg you, my friends, not in these streets. Come with us. Everybody cooks much better than I do. We want your beautiful friend! Where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out! We want them to join us! Don't keep them all to yourself! These men are my guests. Under my roof, my protection, and my hospitality. Oh, that's all right. We'll show them both the hospitality of Sodom. <laughs> I beg you, my friends, don't do this, please. I beg you, please don't do this, my friends. This is not the sort of thing that we... Friend. Friend? You think we are your friends, huh? You buy a house, you think you can buy our friendship? Take me. Don't take them, take me. <laughs> what did you say? Take me, don't take them, take me. Oh, <laughs> now that's an interesting offer. Take you. <laughs> Protecting a guest is a sacred duty. You can take me, you can take my daughters, but you can't take my guests. Oh, happy night! We can take them all! <laughs> Remember, 
Do not look back, or you will be consumed. Quick. Quickly! God will give you what he's promised. I suppose he gives me a son. Would you go to her, please? Why? Oh, she's, uh, she's labored night, day, and the midwives won't tell me anything. She could be in danger. Please comfort her. She takes it in It's in God's hands. Give it to you. Abraham, tell me. Have you found Ishmael to be an acceptable, deserving son? He's a for joy. ten years since his birth, have you and I walked the same ground and hardly passed a word? Why, you never offered me a word of gratitude. Yes. 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 Would you forgive me? But now you speak. Only now. When you are well. Your wife has servants enough. You see, they've done their job. Go to her, Abraham.
Well, continues to amaze me. He's a skill. There. Cunning. There. He's become a natural leader. Now let's see if Saru can teach him some manners with his stuff. Wait. This isn't fair. Why not? Isaac, come here. I need your help. Go, go. go help your brother. Go. Hold on to my hair and watch Saduk. Don't let him trick me. Now it's even. Two against one. See what you can do with the bow. And without any help. Uh, I... I love you both. tomorrow. May I go with him? Of course. What is it, Sarah? I've seen something terrible tonight. You weren't. About what? The future. I don't want Isaac going into the mountains alone. He won't be going alone. He'll be going with Ishmael. I know. Ishmael teaches Isaac something new every day. When he comes back, he'll know as much about the herds as the best of our herdsmen. And if he doesn't come back? Why wouldn't he come back? Ishmael will do what Hagar tells him to do. And Hagar would do anything to put her son in our son's place. The son that God gave us. Oh, Sarah, Sarah. You two 
have made no secret of your feelings towards each other. That is ancient business, huh? Every man in the tribe is now ready to follow Ishmael into the teeth of death. <laughs> He's so much older than Isaac. He's headstrong, fearless. And then I looked at his mother. Her husband. Such dreadful ambition burns in her girl's eyes. In time, and not much of that, God will take us. If we leave Isaac and Ishmael behind, who? Who will inherit? Which of those two will lead? Isaac is God's choice. He is the choice of God. And he loves his brother. Oh, yes, he does. So much so that if Ishmael asked, Isaac would happily give away his birthright to please Ishmael, to follow Ishmael, to worship Ishmael. Isaac is God's choice. That is God's promise. Tell me, without us, do you think little Isaac could stand up to Ishmael and his mother? How will God ensure it'll be Isaac? Will he strike Hagar and Ishmael dead? You love both of your sons so much. You don't see it. I love them too. But we created this problem. And now God's put it in our hands to solve. Oh, no. I created the problem. I did not have sufficient faith in the words of God. Now the problem is our soul. Send them away. Send them away! For the protection of our son. Believe the words you spoke were not yours alone, but God's will. Mother and son will be gone in the morning.
Don't worry about us, Father. I know how to survive. Yes. You'll learn well. Remember the words of the Lord. Behold, I have blessed you. And I will make you a great nation. Son, Ishmael, you miss him. Me too. You worried about him. Me too. Shall we ask God for his help? Yes, Father. Bigger lamb you love, and you love Ishmael, and we will offer its life for your brother's safety. Will you choose, or will I? I will. What's the thing? When I laugh? What's the thing? When I laugh the most? As a sign of your thinking. God, fear not, for God has heard the cries of Ishmael. Arise, 
Lift up your son and hold him fast. For God shall make of him a great nation. stars, they huddle together and they take the shape of little animals. The ram comes first and then after comes the scorpion, the goat and the fish. Now, knowing where the stars are and where they go in their movement helps us to journey at night. Now, sometimes can help us to win a battle. Eliezer! Did you know that the stars are like little animals in the night sky? <laughs> no wonder there are so many. <laughs> Get your bow and arrow. It's time to practice. Yes, sir. Oh, he's got so much to learn, and I so little time to teach him. But he's... Mind is wonderful. The fast in understanding in his memory, so quick to grasp, to hold. Yes, sir. <laughs> no matter what I teach But you. there's something that needs your well. interest. He's learning to ride. <laughs> I've never seen a child or indeed a man with such a mastery over animals. One word, one twist. You may do anything he asks. Yes, he writes very well, That's but it's more I than could... a skill. Isaac has a gift. He was born with it, I believe. Power over beasts. That's, that's magical. Higher with the bow. Higher, higher. Abraham, may I interrupt you? Yes, yes, yes. Seruk, what is Seruk, it? Seruk's boy is eight days old now. They are waiting for you to perform the circumcision. Ah, yes, yes. Well, it's a simple thing. You, 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 you do it. But it's not my place. Good shot. Good shot. Well, then, the father, they've seen me do it a hundred times. But Saruk, he wants you. Will they understand? Can't you see I'm busy? Every day they're growing more and more like children. And you more and more like a stranger. Sarah's been talking to him. Yes. I thought so. Well, I will tell you what I told her. Isaac will lead our people. And soon, soon, I think, he is my only son now. And I want every day I have to prepare him. And nothing is more important than that, do you understand? I will not disappoint my God again. Again. There were times in the past when I believed that he had abandoned me. But it was I who had abandoned him. And I will not disappoint him again. Isaac! Come! 
Come with the boat. Come, let me show you. Let me show you how to swing the boat. Son Isaac, and go to the land of Moriah, to a mountain there which I will show you, and offer him as a burnt sacrifice. <gasps> offer him as a burnt sacrifice. as a bird sacrifice. My Lord! Oh, my Lord! Why? Stay here, my son and I. Go up and worship, and then we will come. we will come back down to you. sheep up this high. Did you bring the flint to make a fire? Yes. We have wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? God will 
provide the lamb. Tie me tightly, Father. to do what I must. Abraham, do not harm your child. For now I know that you fear God, seeing that you've not withheld your son. Your beloved son.
I will bless you, and I will multiply your descendants as the sand which is upon the seashore, as the stars of the heavens above. <laughs>